Deadly crash on M57 left two people dead. This, along with several other car crashes, concerns drivers who travel down that same road. News 8's Amanda Porter was on scene of this crash today. Amanda, even state police know how bad this road can be. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Michigan State Police told me that M57 is a dangerous stretch of road. Today, a SUV was turning left when it was hit from behind and pushed into oncoming traffic. A mother who lives close to that road voiced concerns that many others have about making M57 a road that has less fatalities. M57 proves to be a dangerous road. I couldn't tell you exact statistics, but I can say that this road is a dangerous stretch. Two people were killed during a left turn. And they were uh, struck from behind by a uh, tractor semi, uh, which pushed them into the path of a westbound ambulance. Uh, and that's the vehicle that struck them. And um, the two passengers of the uh, passenger car were uh, sustained. Uh, fatal injuries. The ambulance and semi trailer sustained significant damage, but the other passengers did survive with non life threatening injuries. When you're going to turn left, did the kids know not to turn their um, wheels so that it doesn't get pushed? But honestly, the angle that a, someone could hit you from behind, you know, it could still push you into the oncoming traffic. So I feel so bad for that family today that lost uh, last lost families. Drivers like Melissa Smith of Greenville try to avoid M57 because they say it's too dangerous. It has been referred to as the death road. And so M57 is a very dangerous road because of the lack of just because seems like common sense traffic concerns and the attitude of the drivers. You know, they, they put in those passing lanes and you can be going around 60, 55, 60 in a long line of cars. And you hit those lane, those lanes and people think, well, I'm going to pass those because I want to go 65, 70, 75, even 80. Smith says she's been in accidents on M57 and has seen several others. And we've had a couple people die since we've been here right out here. His son is 15. He's um, starting driver's ed next summer and he doesn't even want to drive on 57. He wants to go around the sides and I'm terrified of thinking of him going out there and in the dark. As the amount of people in the area increases, Smith believes more can be done to minimize car crashes. I wish they would stop doing studies and take action. Either patrol more officers and try and get these people to slow down. Get the left turn signal lights on there. Some of you are not going to be able to stop, but people just need to be reminded that you can't be on each other's bumpers. Tonight, M57 is back open to traffic. Michigan State Police urge drivers to be vigilant. Watch your speed, don't drive distracted, and keep your distance from the car in front of you. In the studio, Amanda Porter, News 8.